Hey chicas, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. Today we're going to be working with this beautiful princessy design and I really hope you guys enjoy. So then let's begin. Today we're going to be working with Jacqueline Acosta's acrylics. They are super pretty, you guys. This one is number 149. Now this one, it's called Flamingo. And it's just a super pretty pink. You're going to be seeing that in a minute. We're also going to be using this one that's called Snow White by the brand Decori. You can find this brand on eBay. I love working with this brand for 3D. It's awesome for 3D, you guys. So now to begin with the actual design, we're going to start off with the usual tips, you guys. These are the usual tips that I use on all of my videos. The link, it's always on the description box. And if they're sold out, you can always just um, scroll down and you're going to be seeing more sellers of sell, you know, the same exact thing. So, yeah, um, right here I'm just applying in this one, which is the Flamingo acrylic that I showed you at the beginning from Jacqueline Costa. I did review their their acrylics, which I did do the video in Spanish, you guys. But you don't need to know Spanish in order for you guys to see the swatches because I did swatch every single acrylic that I did buy. So I'm sure you're going to love them. And there's the link in the info box as well. Go check them out. And I truly do love these products by Jacqueline Costa. She always has, she always, I'm sorry. She does have an Instagram. You can find her through Instagram as well. Or you can just go check out her website. And this one is number 149, I believe. This is like a pinky holographic glitter acrylic. And it's just so beautiful. It shines, you guys. It really, really shines. You have no idea. I'm so in love with this one and the gold one. They are just bomb, you guys. You're going to love them if you do buy them. So all I'm going to be doing is like an ombre. So I just place down, you know, my glitter on the bottom. Um, starting from the tip of the nail going upwards and then I stop like right at the middle of the nail and then now with this pink which is the flamingo I just start from the cuticle area and then I fade down the bead and it's gonna make like an ombre which looks super super pretty so then now on our index finger we're gonna be doing the reverse my smile line I'm sorry and then just to perfect it after i'm done with everything i'm just gonna go ahead and file off camera you guys um I'm, I'm just trying you know to perfect the smile line it's just to make it look more crispity crunchity than what it really is so then um right on the tip we're gonna be placing down this glitter from jacqueline costa again which is number 149 and then on the pinky, I'm just going to be adding a full glitter nail, which looks really, really pretty. I just really wanted to show you guys um, the colors, what they really look like. I really want to do a design using the gold, so I'm really hoping to do it pretty soon. I don't want to tell you guys that tomorrow or in two days or next week because literally, you guys, sometimes things come up and I don't do what I'm supposed to do or what I've told you or what I've promised and you know I don't want to be you know looking all like you're a liar you're this you're that you guys but seriously like things come up unexpected and like I don't get to do what what I had told you you know what I mean so I don't want to tell you a certain day or a certain thing um so yeah I'm thinking about it so let's see what comes up in the future Okay, now like I said, I'm just going to be placing this glitter on the tip of this nail. Just literally trying to, to fit those little, those little glitters into the sidewalls of the nails. Because remember, we did file the, the smile line to make it more crisp. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cap all of the nails. 
this brush that I'm using it's number 14 the number 14 brush by nail supply glamour you can just go ahead and go into their website and you can totally find the number 14 brush there also the acrylic system that I'm using like always NSI the monomer and the crystal clear and I'm just gonna go ahead and cap like I said I'm gonna go ahead and shape down my nails and then go ahead and file and buff them and then we're gonna be ready for the next you know step which is gonna be the 3d so I'm just gonna let you guys to it and I'll come back with you guys in a little bit Alrighty chicas, so now that we've done all of this, I'm just going to go ahead and use my bling adhesive by Zulai and I'm just going to be placing down some stones. So the first stone that I'm going to be placing down is a number 8 I believe or number 9 and then around it we're going to be doing some 3D. You're going to be seeing me use a number 5 brush. This one is from ebay i just typed in um, number five brush 3d brush and it pops right up you guys it's you know it's very popular this brush is really popular and it's really good also it helps you pick up super big beads or super small um it's really good i really really do like it i do have another one which is smaller and trust me you guys even though this one is bigger it helps me out more than the other one that I have so I hardly ever use the other one like this one is by far my favorite one to use for 3d so yeah you guys um, and it's also really really inexpensive it's about 10 bucks maybe on eBay like I said if I do find the link because there's a whole bunch of links to this one um, I will have one of them listed of course and you guys can go ahead and check that out as well and then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do some like little leaves on the sides of this flower and I'm gonna be placing some number three little tiny little tiny super tiny um, crystals on the nail as well and then we're gonna go ahead and um, top coat the whole set um, I just want to mention you guys that on the tip of this nail where the 3d goes I had already tried to do the leaf but honestly you guys oh my god it was horrible it was like horrible so I was like no I am not gonna leave it I, I'd rather just you know remove it and just start all over again so that's why you see kind of little specks of white in there but it's not the acrylic or anything or um or that I missed you know filing something no like everything was fine it's just that I totally messed up with my 3d and I decided to remove the whole thing and start all over again that's why it kind of looks like that but like I said I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this up and go ahead and top coat it 
and this is gonna be pretty much it you guys this is all i decided to do on this design i didn't want to add any more crystals to it i just really thought that the design itself was really shiny because again like i was telling you at the beginning with the acrylics um this line by Jacqueline costa her acrylics well her glitter acrylics are super shiny you guys like a super super shiny and hollow so it, it looks beautiful i don't think it needs you know more shine more crystals more nothing now it's up to you if you want to add more or you know if you want to remove something from this design it's up to you make the design yours all i bring to you guys are ideas to the table and uh, you know like i said whatever you decide to add to your inspiration you know you do you you guys um I'm not here to tell you, you know, you have to do this or you have to do that. No, you guys, make it your own and add your add your own personal touch to it. So here, you guys, like I said, I'm just going to be top coating using the NSI um, gel. This one, I've been really, really enjoying it, you guys. Um, it's really thick. It's nothing like the old one that they had. The old one that they had was really thin it almost looked like water like i'm not even joking you it looked watery but it's really really good i do like it i'm not i'm not telling you guys that i don't like it because i do like it but this one what i enjoy of it it's that it's really thick so um i don't know i just like thick um gels or top coats so i'm really really liking this one and again you can find this gel through the website that i link down the information for the nsi acrylic and monomer so you can find it there as well so yeah you guys we've came to the end of the video and i'm really really hoping you guys enjoy it please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and thank you guys for being here it really means so much to me well i'll let you guys go for today see you guys in the next one take care stay safe god bless and Bye-bye.